So, here we are again. A couple weeks ago, I was tasked with reviewing Angry Birds 2 as it would come out. And it did so last week. Apparently within the first 12 hours, it had already gotten over a million downloads. But it's the ninth game, Angry Birds 2. Game number nine, go figure. Apparently it's the first true sequel to the original Angry Birds game. But I'm not sold on it. I'm really not sold. So, yeah, let's get over with it. Right, first level. He wants us to fling a bird, okay. Huh. Yeah, TNT, of course it's gonna blow up. I guess it's supposed to be easy, it's a tutorial level. But as you can see, we have multi-stages now. So instead of just being done with a level, no. We have to save our resources. Another good thing apparently is that we get more cards as we fill up our destruction meter. And our birds have superpowers. Oh look, a big mean green pig, it took our eggs, hey, that's not nice. This game features daily quests, as we fill up rewards we can claim pink gems which are the main resource for this game. We have now reached level 5 and with it comes the first boss. These are of course special pigs and have a health bar. In order to defeat them you have to inflict enough damage to beat them. This means also using as much of the environment as you can. And using the physics engine to your advantage. As you can see on the left of the boss there is a cart with TNT which we can push to inflict quite a lot of damage. And on the right we have a nicely placed block of ice that is holding a lot of rocks that could do a lot of damage. And just like that, the boss pig is gone. Again, we'll always try to get the best score we can. But... Hey, wait a second. He took our eggs! Starting on level 15, things get more complicated. You'll have to start managing your cards much more intelligently, since all the blocks are starting to get mixed and matched much more often. The biggest danger of that actually being running out of cards. This is especially true with pig bosses, as it is usually impossible to defeat them with only one bird. After defeating this boss, you'll reach a new town, with a new setting. And hey, look, a new bird. This one throws explosive eggs, apparently. 
Every time we unlock a new bird, we are presented with a short tutorial to get to use them. As we go on, we unlock also new power-ups that we can use to change a complete level to our advantage. Or simply make some pigs burst, apparently. I talked before about using the environment to your advantage, but as you can see, we now have even fans that will alter our bird's trajectories. This again means we have to be much more intelligent on how we shoot the birds, as this brings up a whole new challenge. I was not joking when I said you had to preserve your cars and use them smartly. Sometimes you have to sacrifice one bird in order to destroy a blockade to reach the boss. Man, this pig boss is much harder than I expected. I'm out of card. Oh, and out of lives. What? No more lives? How the hell am I supposed to continue? support yet another addiction. Two hundred and forty levels is way too much. I wasn't able to play through it all, but I've seen enough. I'm sold. I'm definitely sold. This game it's not a must play, but if you're if you're curious and wanna try it, don't be afraid, just go for it. It's really fun. Uh, I especially like the new aspects they, that Rovio improved upon, like multi-stages in the same level, uh, randomized map creation on the same levels, you know. Um, the fact that the physics are a lot, really, a lot more convincing and more well designed than in previous games uh the arena of course the arena was a very a very good surprise for me simply to have the ability to go stage after stage after stage and to see how far you can go and rack up as many points you can on a competitive aspect you know people should enjoy it people should actually like to to give their best uh, with that said, try it out, you know, I'm Jimmy, this is the Mobile Corner, see you next time.